Hi everyone and welcome to early morning devotions and prayer requests. I hope everybody's doing good. Our prayer request, Colleen's daughter, Caitlin, is doing better but needs continued prayers. And Kim's heart checkup went well. No problems with her transplanted heart. Everything looks real good. That's great to hear. Karen Simone is having surgery on July 6th and she's scared. Pray for her to have strength. Pray for Flower Child in the state of Washington. They have a heat wave going on. Pray for the Key family. Several months ago the father died, now the son has died. Colleen's middle daughter Clarissa hydroplaned off the road Friday evening. Her car landed in a ditch. The car bottom filled up with water, but uh, it's totaled. Uh, she's okay. Vanessa H.'s brother-in-law has liver cancer and was taken off the transplant list. Pray he, pray he will get help. It's warm in here, too. Our scripture of the day, hi kitty, running around on my leg, uh, comes from Philippians 4, 10 through 13. I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for, for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in, the, in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Amen. And our devotion today is entitled, The Secret of Contentment. When Joni Erickson Tata returned home after suffering a swimming accident that left her quadriplegic, her life was vastly different. Now doorways were too narrow for her wheelchair and sinks were too high. Someone had to feed her until she decided to relearn how to feed herself. Lifting the special spoon to her mouth from her arm splint, the first time she felt humiliated as she smeared applesauce on her clothes. But she pressed on, as she says, My secret was learning to lean on Jesus and say, Oh God, help me with this. Today, she manages a spoon very well. Joni says her confinement made her look at another captive, the Apostle Paul, who was impressed, imprisoned in a Roman jail in his letter to the Philippians. Joni strives for what Paul achieved. I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Note that Paul had to learn to be at peace. He wasn't naturally peaceful. How did he find contentment? Through trusting in Christ. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. We all face different challenges throughout our days, and we all can look to Jesus moment by moment for help, strength, and peace. He will help us to hold back from snapping at our loved ones. He will give us the courage to do the next hard thing. Look to him and find contentment. How has leaning on Jesus helped you to find peace? In what areas of your life are you struggling right now? How could you commit them to God? Saving Christ, thank you for giving me courage and hope. When I feel weak, help me to find strength in you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that <coughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I will be seeing you a little bit later on on morning coffee break. Thanks everyone and God bless.